Well, it's been a busy day here. I got everything all rewired. I got uh, a couple more loop detector uh, units in, and uh, I got the whole entire system up and running. I don't know if you can see the head down there in the end. Everybody's working. Got a green arrow going, yellow. It works. But, uh, just got in my, uh, there's my loop detectors right there. To the, the three on the end here that are just flashing those are uh there's no loops connected to them so they're just erroring out that, that's okay they don't produce any uh any errors for the machine and uh this is my uh asc 2s 2100 econolite controller which uh, works really good i like that econolite mmu malfunction management unit i had a lot of trouble figuring this thing out but once i got it figured out the uh the one over here it's just a spare but this is the uh, the 12 port one which is what this is uh, then we come down here all these that's the outputs from the uh, the controllers plus the inputs for the uh, for the load uh, switches and then we have our load switches here so it goes from 1 to 12 the last uh, so it goes uh, like north south um, east, well, north, east, south, west, like that, and then ped, 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 ped. So a ped on every corner, which is, this is a ped. We're familiar with that. Down at the bottom, these these terminals all across here are all the outputs. This is where the traffic control traffic signals actually connect, and they correspond. You know, red, yellow, green. Red, yellow, green, red, yellow, green, so on and so forth, which is red, yellow, green on the uh, on the controllers. And I have here, I have the, the all the input stuff. So we have all of our loops, loop detection. We could have as many as eight plus four ped, ped detectors right here, which you can see. Uh, and this is where all the coils, the loops connect to. I have four loops connected to it now, but I'll eventually have more. That's just communication. I'm not even going to worry about that right now because that's for uh, like a telephone line and stuff connected to it. And this is a power distribution center uh, for the 120 volts that go through the whole thing. So you have like here, that one controls the, the overhead light, uh, then the uh, lights, and then the uh, controller as well. You can see this is our flasher so when it goes into flash mode it will uh, definitely take over the system and I've had this thing go into flash mode a couple times and uh, we have our control panel here the inside of the door control panel which I can turn the controller off control the signals off I haven't figured out what these guys do yet maybe somebody could tell me what those are but all in all it does pretty good if I if I have a failure I'll say I want to one of my load switches here it puts the whole system in the flash mode as you see there so that shows me there was a failure on the thing the loop detect or the malfunction management unit tells me that there's something wrong with three which is one here one two three and it's missing so if we were to put the thing back in let's see if I can get this thing lined up in the dark right. and uh, now if we reset our MMU all should be right with the world and it is everything's working again normally so that's how the MMU works on that had a heck of a time with that you have a program card in here one of the thing is is there there's a bunch of um I'm going to show you on this there's a bunch of jumpers that need to be set. These are the jumpers that, what they need to work together with. I was under the false impression these are the ones that they couldn't work together with. But so, here I have three and four um, jumped off from, uh, let be one and three and two and four. Uh, those those actually are ones that it would work together with, not ones that I wouldn't want, want them to work together with. But all in all, the whole entire system works real good. Uh, the box seemed to be like it was taken out of service with the intent of uh, putting it back in service. The two peds down here are just 
that's just they're just there to run they're, uh, it's just for testing I haven't built out a, a set of heads you know, filter filter here this is all the blueprints and again the stuff and then you can see all the lights are working Head and everything and the pad should call automatically too as well I don't know why those two aren't over there though but I had them scheduled to do that there you go there's our pad but everything seems to be working mm -hmm. guys uh, anybody think I missed something or didn't explain it right let me know thanks